Godum here. Welcome back, guys. Fallout 76. So we're continuing on with Marshall's adventure. So in the last episode, we uh, we went up to the tower. We connected to put in the hollow tape, and we got a couple treasure hunters that came because we are trying to help out the Duchess, our Duchess. Uh, so we found out. We actually didn't find anything out too much, uh, although the treasure hunters who came to see us knew we were not Crane. So now we're gonna go back and, oh, we did find out that letter. I'm sorry, I apologize. That letter, uh, the West Virginia Lumber Company. So let's gonna go in and talk to Duchess and she would see what she wants us to do. So let's do this. Duchess, we are back. We have some info. Hey, Mort. All right. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. I did. Sounds like they're headed. They're headquartered at West Virginia Lumber Company. Duchess, bring me your finest flame. Oh, flame. Flannel. I'm headed to West Virginia Lumber. I had a thought. What if I decided I wanted to work for this gang instead of you? Oh, that's interesting. I don't think that's a uh, this is gonna happen. Let's see what she says here first. I had a thought. What if I decided I wanted to work for this gang instead of you? Well, honey, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that line of thinking. But if we run along it, maybe those things don't need to be mutually exclusive. I just want those boys to stop threatening us. Now, if one of their own convinced them we weren't a threat. I'd be real indebted to that person. Might be I remember some things that could make their lives a bit more comfortable. But let's say we cross that bridge when we get to it. Now, did you find where these possible new friends of yours are hiding? So two things. Uh, that puts a really crazy twist to this. We could play both sides because she doesn't care. And who knows what we can get from them. Uh, secondarily, she doesn't want to look me in the eyes. <laughs> I did. Sounds like they're headquartered at West Virginia Lumber Company. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to... Wait, wait West Virginia Lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why exactly? was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Yeah, tell me about this family. You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. I agree. Tell me about the scrapper. I found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground, of all places. This guy kept claiming he could wipe out everything at the mill by himself. And I said, mm -mm, no way. But I couldn't get him to spill how. Probably a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Because look at me. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. All right, I like that. So we have two leads 
for how to get into West Virginia and Lumber Company. Oops, uh, door? Yep, that's it. So we have two leads to work on. All right, so that gives us wood. Nope, must have already gotten that one. That gives us a potential two spots to head to. Uh, first of all, let's come back up here since we, as long as we are here. So what I did in between episodes was I went through and we picked up all that, uh, that all those weapons and all that armor. And I kind of went through um, and I kept these. I also put one other weapon back in my stash box. Um, so I kind of I kind of went through that. Uh, I also went through the um, the armor, and pretty much what I was able to do was uh, this should be yeah, I believe it is. So we boiled everything. Oh, I need to rename this one. That's why that one's showing up like that. So we'll do that real quick down here. I kind of sifted through what was the best that we had and versus what we gained. <laughs> Nice. And I, uh, like I said, I. Ooh. All right, we'll figure that out. Maybe, maybe we can take a look at that in here. Can we craft that? Let's take a look since we're standing here. Uh, light armor, outfits. Under armor. All right, so, oh, you know what we might need to do is, well, before we go back out of there, let's just name this real quick. Uh, so it's going to be arm right. Uh, inspect repair. Name. Oh, it was already up there. Nice. Oh, don't need all that. Alright, there we go. And let's go into our map and take a look at the seasons and let's claim that reward because that suit might be kind of cool wood ghillie armor keep a low profile with the ghillie wood armor paint oh so you that's just the paint you put on wood armor okay what's the next thing we're going after three lunch boxes All right, so yeah, so I just kind of went through, kind of cleaned all that stuff up. And let's see, what's our inventory at? What is our level? 110 out of 165. That is a little high. Um, what I need to do at some point is probably go through, look at the aid. Because we are carrying a lot of food. Like, look at 25 mutt chops, which are all pretty much going to go bad pretty soon anyways. And might as well eat up, right? Um, get some of that back. So let's take a look at... Should have just stayed in here. Kill the gang leader or convince the gang leader to leave the wayward. Optional. Question the family at Anchor Farm. Uh, I want to go into here. Oh, no, not there. Sorry. I want to go into... How do I... There we go. Let's see if we can't find all this on the map. Oh, that's way up there. Wow, that is way up there. So we're here now. Where is... Question the family at Anchor Farm. Where is the other one at? The Scrapper. I would assume the Scrapper would kind of be in... The somewhat... Oh yeah, I guess it is. Somewhat same general area. That's Anchor Farm. Why do we want to go back into Vault 76? Oh, uh, that's just to get us there, and then we can start walking up. And then 
Yeah, then here's a scrapper. So those are both on the way to killing the gang leader. So we can do that. Uh, however, if you remember from the last episode, we need to come back over here. Check out these uh, cabins. So I think that's what we're going to do now. Let's turn all that stuff off. There we go. So we're going to head back up to those cabins. See what the heck was going on up there, man. Someone was screaming. Oh, and I hate this pit boy light. I need a miner's helmet. It's peaceful and quiet, quiet right now. Let's see if it stays that way on our way to these screaming cabins. I'll call them. I don't. I forget what they were called. <laughs> But someone was definitely screaming. So we've already been here because this is right outside of the vault. I think that's just going to be scorched. Oh, it doesn't sound like it. I do want to get up to uh, those cabins. That's where we're going to bypass a lot of the stuff that's on the way right now. In an effort to get to those cabins. Take a look at our map, see how we're doing. So it's just pretty much dead straight ahead, we'll find it. Actually, if we do that. Oh. Oh, those are frogs. Uh, you know what I do need to do? I probably need to favorite these weapons. Forgot to do that. Uh, it, it's just two that I needed to favorite. Uh, let's go with the short hunting rifle for now. Those frogs always kind of don't scare me, but they. What are you? Oh, you're probably a protector on. Right? You're friendly. I'm assuming you're going to be friendly also. Oh, we need to get around this fence. Why did it get so quiet? Cultist. Who are the cultists? I don't know. I'm not familiar with them at all. just right around here all right so what's going on here oh oh took a turn for the bazaar all right what are the chances of finding these bodies uh we got one i had that's why i had to take that one because i know i would not find it again Yeah, this is not my forte at all. I mean, it's hard enough for me during the daytime, let alone at night. Ah, oh, man, I have no idea. Alright, we're going to head on. Ooh. 
There was another fence. There was a fence over there. And all of a sudden, the sound picked up. So it was right... The sound stopped where those cultists were. I don't know if that's a thing or that's just coincidence. All right, here's where we are. Here are those cabins. Let's see if the screaming's going to start again. Not so far, but there's somebody here. Oh. It started. These are level nine. Whoa. What do I have for throwables? Let's back off for now. What do I have for throwables? A few grenades, a couple mines, a couple molotovs. All right, so let's go... What the heck is that? Oh! What the heck is going on here, man? Oh yeah, you... Yeah, that you're fine with that. Come on. Missed horribly. Oh, I wish I had a shotgun. Alpine River Cabins. I need to be careful on the looting because I do not want to get stuck out here and be over encumbered again. Place is most definitely freaky. We have a hollow tape. Alpine River Cabin's complaint.
my darndest to make sure that money is in someone else's pocket next election. And one more thing. Maybe you could get off your lazy butts and pick up some garbage here. This place is filthy. I know all the recent hubbub about atomic war. But that doesn't mean the place has to look like it was just hit with a nuclear bomb! Alright, so we have the shake, we've, which we've experienced just now. We've heard the screams. Like that one. I did not close that door. Alpine River Cabin's guest book. There are more ferals in there. Brendan, Laurie, Aaron Holt, perfect place to relax for the weekend. We'll be back again soon. Uh, Jefferson family, the kids love swimming in the pond and spotting the local deer. <laughs> Lord, visitors must uh, feed them often. They are everywhere. James, Blake, Allison, and Stephanie, boring. There's nothing to do around here. Won't be coming back. The Taylors, overall very peaceful location. We heard some weird noises the first night. Assumed it was just some teens messing around. Jackson and Beverly Hart, creepy noises, bears roaming around. So this is getting, this is progressively getting freakier, right? Um, is it progressively 9.15 to 8.05? I'm not sure. All right, so let's take a look. Um, noise bears roaming around. Too close at night, and I swear the pictures on the walls were changing positions. Will not be visiting again. Somebody's here. Back out, back out, back out. Alright, what do we what do we want to go in with weapon wise? Um Maybe the forty five. I'm glad the sun is starting to come up. Come on, peek your head out. Oh, you're just level one. Oh, yet I missed. That definitely just moved, although the entire place is shaking, so it's not surprising. And that door closed. Yeah, you definitely moved. Um, is there something I'm missing? I don't think I've been in this one yet. I hate this frickin' pit boy light, man. Alright, we have a safe. 
And a hollow tape. Rita the fire breather. Let's play it. Hey, Rita. So, uh, right now, you're asleep, enjoying your last peaceful night's rest for God knows how long. And I thought I'd record something for you to remember me by while you're locked away inside Charleston Fire Department. Training for the prestigious opportunity to dive face first into a bunch of mine fires with the rest of those fire breather nut jobs. <laughs> Honestly, though, ain't no responder alive who's a better pick for that crew than you. Just make sure you don't forget the basics with all this fancy new training. Always check your seals, hit stop, drop, then roll. The order's important. And most important, I'll come back all crispy. Because I love what I'm looking at right now. That picture moved, turned, while there was no shaking going on. Oh, this bobby pin has to last. I need bobby pins. Ah, oh, crap, man, that sucks. All right, I do not see anything else around here. That hollow tape referenced. Rita the fire breather. Do we have anything in, on a quest line? No. We need that. I need a. I need to go buy a, a pick, a lock pick. I'm not. That moved once again. All right, I need to go buy a lockpick so we can get inside. Is that a treehouse? There's a terminal up here. How does this treehouse have electricity? Not going to question it. Tumblers today. I could have used that a few seconds ago. What would you like to do? Lure creatures. Stop automated sequence. Oh, Lord. Luring enemies. What are we luring? Oh, is it just ghouls? Is that all it is? Oh! Missing horribly.
That was bad. So was that. Wow. I can't get centered on this guy for some reason. Wait a minute. There we go. Oh. Was that a bobby pin? I think it might have been. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure. Was that a bobby pin? Uh, yes. Let's head back to you. That's got to make picking locks even harder. Care to do this now. There we go. Alright, that did not help with potentially what is going on here. What happens if I go back up to thought I saw a ghoul over there. Back up to the treehouse. So can I use this to just bring three more ghouls? Three more ghouls, three more ghouls, that type of deal. Lure creatures running. Did it say run? Oh, it's, it means it's running right now. Stop automated sequence. We'll stop. The, oh. Refresh status. Rotate. Oh, this is fake. This is all fake. Rotate pictures. Obviously we're not in there, but that's what's going on. Simulate earthquake. Close cabin doors. And run automated sequence. So that's probably going through the entire thing would be my guess. Refresh the status. Ah, it's all fake. That's funny. So that just... I got a friend who... Uh, <laughs> wholeheartedly believes in haunted places. And I'm a big believer that a lot of those places... Um, might be kind of like these cabins. Conveniently make money off of uh, quote unquote scary situations. All right, so we figured this place out. That was pretty neat, man. I like that. That was a lot of fun. Classic example of Bethesda putting a good little mystery into the game. I like that a lot. All right, so let's take a look. So we're going to take a look at our data. Our, so we, we want to eventually, so we need to be doing that. And then this is in Morgantown. So let's take a look at the map. So Morgantown is over here. I believe, that, yeah, that's Morgantown Airport right there. So we could do that. However, I think what I want to do is head up north. We have the... Uh, the family at Anchor Farm, and then there's the Scrappers inside. Was the Scrapper? No, the Scrapper was not inside the vault. The scrapper is up here at the fairgrounds. So I think we'll talk to those two as we are on our way to kill the gang leaders. So we want to be heading north. Uh, let's bring that map up again. Is there a road that works for this? Not necessarily. Once we get to 76, there's a path. 
We could take 88 up to... Is that just saying that there's... There are animals here? Or... That is a pig, right? Or is that something to discover? Maybe we try and discover... That's Wixom Homestead. I'm not sure what this is. Let's head north and see what we find. We get something out of this wood? Yes. Oh, we can get multiples. Keep an eye out for flowers and wood. Well, they're probably good on wood for right now. Uh, the main reason I was collecting it was for the score points, which we already got for today. Um, yes, we need it for building, but I also do not want to be so over encumbered. We do not, f um, to where it becomes cumbersome. <laughs> that was lame. All right, let's see here. Something up top here. Uh, that sounds like a. Uh, oh, that's. You know what? That's that. Is this where we just were? Yeah, because it's those little guys, and yeah, this is that helicopter, I think, where we just were. But you're a raider. No, this is another downed vertebrate. Or vertebot, aren't they? these are vertebots, right? Ooh, arrows. Oh, we cannot get anything from you. Must have already just been inside that crate. All right. What have we got here? This place has a lot of potential. You didn't mind that those raiders were just there and neither of you attacked each other? Hey, a fellow camper. Gather around. Do you fancy yourself a cook? Not really. I only cook to survive. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, is Bert considered cooking? Yeah, right, there we go. It's a start. Uh, maybe you could use one of those recipes? I like to share some cooking secrets with those I meet. Here, take this recipe. Nice. Thank you. Sometimes the best remedy is a big old s'more. Yeah, we're not going to steal from you, although it doesn't look like you have much to steal. So that's probably all right. Look at that reflection. I wonder what, what's the reflection coming from. That I don't know for sure. Oh, off of those trees. All right. What did you what did you just take out though? I don't trust your judgment, my friend. Although I am respecting your uh your guns. Oh. You took out a Yaogwai. <laughs> On 
unfortunate position. Let's see what we can cook. Not a whole lot, but that's all right. We are heading north still. How are we looking towards that one place on the map? Oh, we completely bypassed that. So let's take a look east first real quick. Let's see what's... Was there something over here to find? Uh, we'll let you live because I do not need the meat. So there's the vault. Not sure what's making... Oh, we're over encumbered. Darn it. That's not good. I'm going to have to drop some stuff, probably. Unless we can find a bench, wherever, whatever this is. This house. Ooh, there could be a bench. Because there's people here. Oh. Tired of those thorn bushes? Gotta prepare for even more settlers moving in. What about this one? Some big ass ticks. Oh. Dude, are you? I don't know if I trust this guy. We really need to clean up around here. You need to clean up your fellow. There's another one. Ooh, a laser pistol. I don't trust this guy, so I'm gonna. I am gonna take his stuff. That was a pretty big. Uh, Brewing station, but I need a, I need a crafting station. Those raiders come snooping around; they're gonna regret it. I would agree. So, if you're gonna do to them what you did to your friends, oh, it's possible raiders did that, or those ticks. Wow, did those ticks take out the, all those people? It's hard work making a living out here. Whoa. Oh, there is a bench. Nice. All right, industrial Further cleaner. Further we expand our influence, the more people we can help. I still don't know if I trust this guy, so that's why I'm all right with taking everything. All right, that helped out a lot. All right, um, let's take a look at these weapons. Level 545, so our hunting rifle does is level 545. So we can scrap you. Huh. Need some new clothes. Scrap Thank you. you We're much. keeping this laser pistol, though. 18 medium. Kind of like the, the machete. Alright, that gets us down to a manageable level. Although I see more stuff to take. Yeah, I still don't trust you, dude. Taking it. Taking it. We really need to clean up around. Not trusting you. All right. So, we are going to get as far away from you as possible. And we are going to do that in the next episode. So, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And until next time, getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. be safe and have fun.